I'm Marie from Southern Country Living, and I hope everyone is having a great day today. It's beautiful here in Georgia, and it seems like there's a hint of fall in the air today because it's very cool right now. And uh, I'm making a slow cooker jambalaya uh, crock pot meal today, and I'm going down to my uh, granddaughter's house today, and so this will be really good when we come in this evening. And so some of the ingredients in it is a can of uh, tomatoes. This is a 28 ounce can. And uh, also a can of chicken broth. Gonna have a bell pepper in it. Onion, two stalks of celery, some sausage. And then my uh, seasonings is um, thyme, oregano, tomato paste. Um, this here is uh, Cajun seasoning, and this right here is cayenne pepper. And then I'm going to be putting two chicken breasts in on my crock pot, and I'm going to cut the pieces uh, small. And also I'll be putting a pound of uh, shrimp in it, and uh, also some rice, but that comes later on. Um, but um, I'm going to start doing my prep work now, and so we'll be back. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Diced up pretty small. This is two chicken breasts. And uh, I'm going to be cooking this on um, high today because we're going down to my uh, granddaughter's house. I've already mentioned that once, but that's the reason I'm cooking it on high today. And you can cook it on um, 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 low for seven to eight hours. So now I'm going to be putting in my uh, sausage. Okay. And let's see, now I'm going to start putting in my uh, bell pepper. This is my red one. And this is a whole onion. And I did spray my crock pot. And then this is two stalks of celery. Okay. So now I'm going to add in this large 28 ounce can of tomatoes. And this 
is two cuts of chicken broth. Now I'm going to be adding in my seasoning. smell good too. <laughs> Giving this a good stir now. Get all those seasonings incorporated in here. Get that chicken all stirred up in here and the sausage. The vegetables. Mm, I can't wait to eat this today. Okay. All right, I've got that all stirred up now. And so this recipe will be in the description below. And so, okay, I'm going to cover it up and let it cook for four hours. And so when we come back, we're going to have a good meal. Hi, everyone. We're back from our trip to our granddaughter's house in Cedartown. And so uh, my crock pot meal has cooked just a little bit over but not very much, so it's, I'm going to um, open up the lid right now and put this rice in and it'll let it cook for one more hour. And then after that, the last 15 minutes, I'll add my shrimp in. It smells really wonderful. I can't wait to eat this. Look at all of that rice in there and that meat. Okay. And when this cooks for, uh, like I said, an hour, and then uh, after that, I'll add the shrimp for 15 minutes and then it'll be ready. All right, I'm uh, back and my rice is uh, done in my uh, jambalaya and so it's time to add the uh, shrimp and I'm going to be adding a pound of this and it's going to be cooking for about 15 minutes. And uh, we ordered bigger shrimp but our store didn't have it and so we'll, you just use what you have. <laughs> so I'm going to put this shrimp in here And for a larger shrimp, you would cook it for 15 minutes, but since this is a little smaller, I'm going to be keeping my eye on it. So, uh, this all in here. Mm, this really smells amazing. <laughs> I'll be back in about 15 minutes to do my favorite part, the taste test. Okay, our shrimp has been in here for uh, the last 15 minutes, and so now let me uh, serve us up a bowl. Mm, it smells really good. I can't get over how good it smells.
think I'll take two scoops. <laughs> A little parsley on it. Mm, it looks so good. Okay. This is going to be hot. This is really delicious, and um, you can really taste all the spices in it. You can taste the cayenne pepper, <laughs> and um, you think it's going to be too hot for my Marie? Well, it might be for you, but it's just right for me. I like my thing, uh, soups and stuff just have a little kick to it, but not ex an extreme amount. So I think this is about right for me. And uh, I hope it's right for you. <laughs> so when we come back, and uh, after we I serve Kevin up a bowl, when we come back and do the taste test, I'll let Kevin tell you if it was too spicy for him. So uh, let me serve Kevin up a bowl, and then we'll be back. Okay, we just finished our uh, meal tonight, and Kevin, how did you like it? Oh, Marie, you <laughs> see this fire extinguisher here? <laughs> I'm going to hit you over the head with it. <laughs> I was ready for this meal, but surprisingly, I didn't have to use the fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, on a serious note, it was very delicious. <laughs> it was a little spicy hot. Yeah, and, uh, and I think that instead of putting uh, one tablespoon of the Cajun seasoning in it, mm -hmm. I think that you could put like, uh, instead of the tablespoon, a teaspoon, and that might, you might have liked it a lot better. Cut it down a little bit? Yeah. Well, but to be honest, I actually liked it hot and spicy like Indeed. this. I really enjoyed it. And, well, uh, for those of you who don't like a real spicy, um, Jambalaya, you could take uh, and just put a teaspoon instead of a tablespoon. Yeah, of the spices if yeah. you want to. Yeah. But I enjoyed it, and the shrimp was really good in there. Yeah, it was uh, done just right. I enjoyed that sausage, mm -hmm. and I think what really set off the best for me was all those pieces of chicken you put in there. Yeah. That was really good, mm -hmm. and so I really enjoyed it. We're uh, we're going to be giving some of this to our daughter. She's going to come by in just a little while and get it yeah. because she loves jambalaya. She may not get none if she sees that fire extinguisher. <laughs> this is just having a little fun, okay? <laughs> but uh, it, it was on the spicy side, but not too bad for me. I was able to eat it and yeah. enjoy it. And I'm going to have to give it five stars because it was that good. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to leftovers tomorrow. Okay. I'll give it... Um, Four eight. <laughs> Four point eight. <laughs> okay. Just because I think that instead of a tablespoon of the Cajun seasoning, yeah, I think it should have used a teaspoon. But now, y'all may be different from me. Y'all may like oh y'all spicy, and the recipe does call for a tablespoon. Yeah. And well, Calvin, he was all right with it. Yeah, it's very unusual that I like something that. It, and you don't like it because it's too spicy. No, I like it, but okay. I would just cut one spice in there. Just make it a little bit yeah. lower. Okay. And I apologize for my raspy voice today. <laughs> I'm having trouble with my allergies again. Okay. For everyone's information, today uh, Marie and I went over to our granddaughter's house and uh, we opened the uh, surprise package that we did a video on last week. Yeah. And if everything goes as I hope it goes, I'll have a video for that ready uh, Saturday. Yeah. We usually don't put a video out on Saturday, but I'll try to have it ready for Saturday. If I don't make it by then on editing, I'll get it just as soon as I can, okay? But but I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Marie, uh, I give it five stars. 
Okay, and I really do. I give it five stars too. But like I said, if you know, if you don't like it really spicy, cut that down to a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I, it wasn't so spicy that it interfered with me at all. Okay. Okay. So y'all, I hope y'all have a great day, and I'll. Really, actually, it's getting towards the evening. <laughs> Late in the evening. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I hope uh, everyone is doing well today. And so uh, I'm going to close our video. And so y'all all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all on our next video. Bye. Oh, I wish it was me.